In this video, we're looking at similar triangles. So here we've got two similar triangles because it has two pairs of angles the same. So how are we going to work out x and y? Well, first we have to write or draw the two triangles side by side so we can see what the corresponding sides are. So let's take the first one. There it is, there. And this one here. And let's spin it around. So there we go. So now we can got the two triangles side by side with their corresponding side. So what we know is the eight centimeters corresponds to the two millimeters, the four millimeters with the Y and the six millimeters with the X. So first thing we need to work out, so it's a similar uh, figure question, is the scale factor. So uh, big over small, so eight over two equals four. So scale factor is four. I.e. the big triangle is four times as big as the smaller one. So to work out x then, we take the corresponding side, which is six meters to x, and we divide that by our scale factor because we want to make it smaller. Six divided by four is 1.5 millimeters. Let's do the same for y. So the corresponding side for y is four. So that's going to be four divided by our scale factor of four. So y is one millimeter. Okay, this is the second example. We've got two triangles within each other. And what we've got here, we have got two similar triangles. Let's uh, draw them side by side so we can see. So let's bring the first one out, the smaller one is there. And then let's bring out the bigger one as well. And we can see why they're similar. Because they both share this angle here. That's it there. And because we've got parallel sides, that angle is the same as that angle there. And actually, those two angles are the same. Okay, so we do know that they are similar triangles. So let's use that to work out what x is. Let's move this to one side. So the first thing we do is find our scale factor. So we find two sides that we know the lengths of that correspond. So we know this is 4 meters, and that corresponds with 5. So scale factor is 5 divided by 4 which is 5 quarters, or 1.25, if you so wish. And we need to find out what x is. Well, x is the longest side, so we're going to take the corresponding distance 5 metres, and we're going to times that by 5 over 4. And if you put that into your calculator, you will get 25 over 4, which is the same as 6.25 millimetres.